today, we're gonna have some fun today. Let's check out the Oceanographic Society in Stewart. Hoping it doesn't rain. There really was a low chance of rain in the forecast. However, I am seeing some clouds roll off the ocean. It's been like ages since I've been there. It's a great place to learn about the ocean, sea life, what's happening in our environment. All kinds of fun things like that. The Florida Oceanographic Society is a nonprofit organization founded in 1964 with the mission to inspire environmental stewardship of Florida's coastal ecosystems through education, research, and advocacy. The facility has numerous educational exhibits as well as a lovely gift shop. This oceanographic coastal center provides a natural learning environment for both public and private groups. So apparently they have all these tanks where you can look at the sea life and actually touch some of them. That seems like fun. Of course, you have to wash your hands first. The first tank is filled with stingrays. They're very friendly and extremely entertaining for young children. What do they feel like? They just feel very slimy. They feel slimy, slimy but they're not really slimy. Here, what do they eat? That's a good question. These stingrays are used to being fed, and this guy seemed to be looking for a snack. I think that one stingray was coming up to uh, give me a kiss. Okay. What do they eat? What we eat here in our particular place is we eat small pieces of fish and shrimp. In the wild, they can eat lobster, crabs, clams, oysters, other little pieces of fish of different types. Their mouth is made of calcified cartilage, so they can actually crush clam shells, or oyster shells. So that's basically what they do there. The facility even has a beautiful butterfly garden. We've got more than butterflies over here. Nice and peaceful over here. Quiet in the shade, little butterflies, lots of lizards. Looks like we have all kinds of sea creatures in this exhibit. The main exhibit has rays, sharks, and even sea turtles. I think this trail takes you all the way to the river. So let's find out. is better not see any spiders. No. As well as not liking spiders, I don't like the fact that my battery is getting low and I'm gonna have to switch it out. I'm telling you. 
I live local and uh, I didn't realize they had a path like this. I'm here on a Friday, so it's a little sleepy. I did that on purpose. I'm sure Saturdays and Sundays are much busier out here, which makes filming difficult. Actually, it's quite peaceful out here, being the uh, only person walking on this path. Yes, it did take me to the river. along the river here but there's no shade not so sure I'm gonna do that one definitely will be a little toasty today it's got to be mm, 88 not much of a breeze I always think the mangrove roots are so cool they just like top of the tree and try to make their way to the ground looking for dirt or water okay so they have a sign here telling you how to identify footprints of wild animals and sure as shit there are wild animal prints right here in the sand these look to be i don't know raccoons more than likely because they look like little hands you hear that i think we have an osprey i'm gonna have to go find him apparently What I have to say is not important. When you get a fishing license, you can get a license to catch crab. We put the crab traps right off here up the Oceanographic Center. Good place to get stone crab. You gotta have a license for that. I'm gonna go see if I can find this osprey. I forgot my reading glasses. Of course, the minute I go to explore and find that bird, he shuts up. Typical. All right, time for me to head back. You know, days like today make me appreciate where I live. Not everybody gets to do this. I lived in some big city I'd have to get in the car and drive really far and I don't have to do that where I live you know the spiders I told you about yes they're here oh, look at those webs. I don't like that okay back to what I was saying you should embrace life that is what the 772 living lifestyle is all about so I make these videos so, if you don't know the area, maybe go to my channel and you can see all kinds of videos on different areas here in the Treasure Coast, Martin and St. Lucie County. You can see our parks, you can see our downtown area, you can see neighborhoods. But basically, you can see it's fun and sun and low key and I'm all about low key these days okay they got signs on what kind of poop is out here cool much TMI I'm Lisa Ammons with 772 living thank you for stopping by if you like this video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing if you haven't already done so if you have a comment about anything here in the treasure coast maybe a place to see place to go something to do and you don't see it on my channel 
Your comments are great. I love chatting with you. So put those comments below. Maybe you'll give me a suggestion on a video that I should do. And I would be more than happy. If I can, I will.